And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Codrick Max, and we're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. And boy, do we have a great show for you today. Dale Hightower from Seaguar Fluorocarbon is on, and yeah, we're going to be talking about that magical stuff that catches fish. That is fluorocarbon. And a whole bunch more, so you stay tuned. This is Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California sport fishing voice on the Marty 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. Inside him- Information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code Code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catin, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have Fishdope.com, you're not part of the in-the-know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Hey, San Diego, the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer now through September and make it your best summer yet. Get great offers on the most popular Ford trucks and SUVs and experience hands-free highway driving technology with Ford Blue Cruise, available on select vehicles. It's the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event, and that means now is the best time to get behind the wheel of your brand new Ford and drive it home today. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers, they'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Today's going to be a great show. Super pumped to have uh, Dale on here talking cigar, floral, fishing. Today's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Bro. Good morning, Dale Hightower. What's up, Dale? Good morning, guys. Great to have you. And uh, you're uh, on a remote location there and getting ready to head for Orlando, Florida for the <laughs> ICAST show, right? Yeah, it's the, uh, you know, just in case the listeners don't know, ICAST is the industry trade show in the fishing tackle uh, business. Where all the new product for 2025 is being um, being unveiled. Um, some of the stuff kind of sneaks in early, and uh, so some of the stuff might have already showed up in the marketplace. But this is all for, you know, introducing new product to uh, to our retailers, our customers. And uh, you'll probably see some of that stuff already being uh, teased on social media. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty big event. Um, it's in Orlando, Florida. So unfortunately for us on the West Coast, it's a long flight and humidity. But um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's pretty exciting. And, and Seagar's got some really great things that they've already um, teased to the market. So we can actually talk about that on today's show, what's coming cool. down the pipeline oh, cool. for Seagar. So what, well, tell what is it? Tell to... us about yeah, it. Yeah, right. that's a, that be right. fired up. Teased, teased it up a little bit. All right, so, so one of the big things in bass fishing is this product coming out of Japan that's referred to as JDM, and JDM is Japanese domestic product or market, excuse me. Um, And so all the companies have it, like Daiwa has JDM product that they only sell in Japan. They do not market here in the United States. Uh, Shimano is the same, Um, Yuzuri, um, Seaguar, Hayabusa. So JDM is something that the bass industry is very familiar with because um, people kind of, I'm not going to say smuggle it in, but people find ways to bring over this JDM more, uh, uh, product for the, United, for the anglers in the United States. And uh, so you guys actually opening the doors up to instead of keeping it as a secret um, Japanese uh, product, is they're actually bringing over uh, their JDM uh, product and marketing it in the original packaging um, as it's sold in Japan 
And the only thing that's different is that we have to relabel what we call the UPC codes for the retailers in the United States to be able to ring it up at that cash register or point of sale. So we, we introduced uh, some product at the Bassmaster Classic because that's obviously kind of the kickoff to the bass season. Um, I think it was in March this year. And uh, we introduced three products. Uh, one is a product called R18. So you guys would be excited to hear what this is. Ooh, so okay. R18 is the Japanese version of Tatsu that that was really on the market there before we introduced Tatsu to the U.S. So um, it's it's obviously a little different in sizes. So there's some unique things in um, R18 that isn't offered in Tatsu. And to give you an example, we we are doing um, a five and a seven pound. Um, which they sell in Japan that we never made a five or seven pound in Tatsu. Really? Um, there's also a, there's also a sixteen and a fourteen pound. So in Tatsu, we do, here in the U.S. we do ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-five. So there's some really unique sizes in here. Um, it's on a hundred and nine yard spool, so it's a little different size spool than we sell here. Um, How long is the spool it, we sell here? Like two hundred yards. Two hundred yards. Yeah. I, as you guys know that, um, especially in this white line um, techniques in bass fishing, a lot of the bass fishing market, including myself, I mean, that's how I fish. I fish like I do in salt. I'm loading up my reels with small diameter braid and putting a fluorocarbon leader on. So, like a spool of tatsu, you know, 200 yards lasts a long time if you're doing that on spinning, especially on spinning gear. Okay, so, what's the, more, what's the difference between R19 and tatsu? R18 and Tatsu, there R18. is no difference. There, there is no difference. This is the Japanese version of it. Okay. The, the it reason that cooler, we. sounds cooler, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, well, well, brown well, and the, uh, I just like the. What, yeah. what pound test you fishing? Oh, 14. Don't worry okay. about it. Yeah. You guys want. You guys want to hear the secret how R18 name came up? Because yeah. it was kind of a guessing deal why they called it that in Japan. So, um, I kind of joked about it, and I guess I guessed it on the first crack. It's it's so good that they have an age requirement on it that you have to be 18 years old, like a like a booby rating R18. Yeah, like it. like <laughs> it's so good, it's only for adults. So wow. that's that's the tr- that's the truth. That's how that name came up. Um, but the nice part about it is because it's on a 109 yard spool. It's like a 100 meter spool, but you know we convert it for uh, the U.S. market so that uh, our anglers know what uh, what yardage it is. Sense. So it's um, anyhow. So it, it retails a, a, a lot less than um, Tatsu because there's less on a spool. So uh-huh. you can get a you can get a spool of uh, R18. Um, let's just look at you know 10 pound like. Twenty-seven ninety-nine, which is a lot less than a two hundred yards full of tatsu. How much uh, is a two hundred yard full of tatsu? Almost double that. Almost double. You know? that. So it's about so, so it's compromise, it's, compar- comparable on price, price. It's just different. Yeah. Right. Price per yard. Yeah. Price per yard. It's uh, is very similar. So it's also a chance for someone to experience tatsu performance for the first time at a lot less price point than, you know, if you're buying a, a hundred meter spool and you're doing what a lot of us are doing on light spinning gears, you're putting braid on first and then, and then a uh, floral leader. So, um, I like the idea the, that the, the, the different diameters too. I mean, seven pounds, yeah, five well, that pound, was, that's cool. Kind of cool. That, that's I what like I it. Cool, well, yeah. yeah. So the, the movement in bass fishing is, is, you know, and I'm sure many of your listeners know this is this forward facing sonar and this, these techniques and, um, and they're all light line techniques. You know, if you look at look at the U.S. Open Bass uh, Tournament last year at um, at Lake Mojave, um, I believe Kyle Grover won it, and he won it with big smallmouth. You know, five plus, I mean, almost a five pound average, four to five pound average daily at Lake Mojave, which is my my local fishery where I live. Um, and he got it on five and seven pound lines, uh, or no, six, I believe it's six and seven or something like that. One was Tatsu and another was a competitor because um, Tatsu was not made in those sizes as of until today. So gotcha. but a lot of those white line guys, they need that, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight variable range to really dial in on this, you know, pressure, you know, pressure fisheries. Sure. So, so Dale, so explain, explain the difference for our saltwater anglers, the difference between Seaguar Gold label and Tatsu or R19, or 18, excuse right. me. I keep the numbers. All right. Yeah. So, so they're, they're both double structure formulations. So we use two different floral resins. Um, and with that technology, and we do that in Gold label, Premier, Blue label as well. So, 
using two different floral resins and it's proprietary that we were the only ones that, that do, can do this I believe there's a patent on the process but um, it allows us to change the variable so you can get a really hard outer shell or a softer outer shell or and, and it's not a coating it's there the two fluorocarbon resins are fused um, during manufacturing so it just gives much more parameters so if, if you came to me Pete and said I, I want to design this fluoro having those two different resins gives me more ability to custom tailor it to you, what you want. So we custom tailor the tatsu to, you know, freshwater anglers that are, you know, spooling them up on small reels. So, you know, we, we would typically not want a lot of memory. I think that's what all of us love about tatsu is it sure. feels like you're fishing mono. And that's because we are able to tailor those floral resins to give you everything you want. So it's, twice as expensive to make because there's two different resins involved in this process so we're the only company that in the world that does the, the we call uh, double structure formulation dsf and it, it's labeled on the packaging so it, it's in the it's in the realm of gold label obviously gold label we we manufacture um, with different properties and um, and that kind of brings me into the the next jdm product which i think your listeners are going to be super excited about is we're at reintroducing Grand Max, JDM Grand Max. Oh, okay. Grand Max was a Grand Max was a product that we introduced or we sold here in the United States when Seaguar was committed to the fly fishing industry, and as their business model um, morphed, I guess would be the best um, way to explain that. They um, they they put their 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 emphasis on saltwater and bass fishing and basically because of the specialness of fly fishing they just decided that they would let the companies like rio and umqua and orvis just you know that wasn't their um, specialty so we uh we uh had grand max at the time grand max is the basically the sister um fluorocarbon to gold label so gold label um basically um, became uh, a product here in the U.S. based upon um, a product called Grand Max FX. And the difference between the two, the standard Grand Max and the FX, was just one was more supple than the other. But this, these two products were always considered the, um, the premium product in Japan. I mean, even when you compare it to Tatsu, it's a, a little bit better. I mean, it's probably most of us fishing-wise couldn't tell the difference, but in the lab, there's a difference. Okay. You know, it's a it's that little small notch. So Grand Max and Grand Max FX have always been the the showcase products in Japan for fluorocarbon technology. And since um, we kind of uh, brought in the uh, Grand Max FX as a different product here in the U.S., we we changed that and brought that in as gold label. And originally, it was only available in um, Rick could probably remember like 15 through 40 was the original size. Because that's the, the actual dyes that they used to extrude the fluorocarbon, you know, that were dialed in previously because our, they already made that product. They never made um, Grand Max FX over 40 pounds. So they had to develop that 50, 60, and 80 pound gold label for our market. And then they brought in all the small sizes, obviously, for the freshwater, you know, um, freshwater market, whether it be um, um, fly fishing, if, if guys were using it for fly fishing or for. Um, just trout fishing in general or bass fishing but they're bringing back this jdm grand max it's on 60 meter spools which converts to 66 yards uh price per yard it's the, pretty much the same as gold label here's the difference the sizes we're gonna have a 35 pound in this oh we're gonna have a 27 no way. Sick. Okay, we're gonna have a 35 pound in this we're gonna have a 27 pound there's gonna be a 24 pound a 20 uh, 19 pound a 17 pound in addition to the other sizes so we're making it two through 40 so all your your, your fly fishing needs are now met uh pete with the uh, grand max coming back so two two through 40 but there's some like i said some really interesting sizes in this um that i just want to um, fish 24 and 27 pound just to be a d to the guy next to you like well you're not getting bit on while well, you're yeah. fishing too heavy man it's like yeah. it's not, well, it's not well, buying 25 pound yeah, it's only yeah. on 24, 24 right now like, <laughs> everybody knows yeah, that. yeah. We do well it. 
Well, and there's been this huge thing that the jump, as you know, Rick, between 30 and 40, um, you know, especially for a bluefin fisher. I do know, like, like the 35. Like, all, oh, all, yeah. all joking aside, I love that size. That's the the that's 24, yeah, yeah, well, 24, I will totally use just as a, a fun whatever, you know, because, you know, 25 gold label I fished forever. I, I wouldn't, you know, 24, whatever, yeah. same difference. But 35 pound, dude, I love that. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so, all about it. So this is going to be Grand Max FX, you said? Nope, nope. FX is, is the gold label. This, this is, is the original Grand Max, its sister. Original you know, Grand Max. So, the OG so before, what's, before what's the label. difference between Grand Max and Gold Label? Um, the Grand Max would be just a little bit stiffer. The Grand Max just would be a little, little stiffer. stiffer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 a little okay. stiffer. But, you know, like it might, it's, gonna, it's not as stiff as Blue Label. Okay, right. so so, uh, okay, so for, let's talk about fly fishing just a second. So I have to. Um, <laughs> you got right. we I, 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 I like Tatsu for fly fishing. Okay, I really like yeah. that as 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 leader material. Um, uh, would I want to use the Grand Max or would I want to use the Tatsu? Keep staying with. What, well, uh, here's what here's what I would do: gold label because it's softer, it's more supple, yeah. and I, I like that. that in yeah. fly fishing, I like that suppleness for dry fly fishing. And you know, if yeah. I was fishing big streamers. I'd want stiffer. I'd probably go Grand Max. Gotcha. I want a little stiffer leader for turning over bigger flies. But it's like, so if you were going bone fishing, Grand Max. Grand Max. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're if doing a tra- Christmas Island trip right. next year, so hey. I better take some Grand Max. Grand Max. Yeah, yeah Grand Max for sure. Yeah. Um, Interesting. So, so it's exciting. So, um, yeah, lots of. Diver- so, I mean, I- any way you choose. Bottom line is you're not going to go wrong with Seaguar now because you've got <laughs> yeah, pretty no, much well, everything yeah. in the in the realm there. Well, and like we're we're opening up our catalog, our Japanese catalog. I guess if that's a pretty good way to ex- like explain it to the U.S. market. So you have choices. I mean, like I already uh, secured a spool of thirty-five for for my trips this year. Like I want thirty-five. <laughs> I'll right? bet you did. Like, like, you know, somebody's like, standing next to you going, "Hey, how come you're getting bitter? What are you fishing? Mm-hmm. I'm fishing like forty something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <30-something. laughs> exactly. And 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 like I said, price per yard it's the same. It's on these cool spools or Japanese spools. Or they're they're really cool. I mean, the I think this just gives um, us. Um, as anglers, that next little level, especially yeah. on these, you know, these fish that sometimes don't want to bite. Yeah. So when's this all going to be available at tackle stores? Oh, good call. Well, I would say that the uh, majority of it you're going to see this fall. So for okay. fall fishing, I think we're looking at around September delivery. Some of it is in the market. We did a um, very limited launch um, at Classic. We it was. It, I'm not going to say test the waters, but we were what we're trying to do is um, get some product out there and get some excitement on it prior to ICAST. And then introduce it to the trade, the, the full blown trade, and have it available this fall. So, the uh, the other thing that um, so we're also indu- um, introducing some really cool braid that's um, freshwater only. It's this uh, it's called PEX8. It's even smaller braid than like our Smackdown. This eight strand just and what everybody's going to in bass fishing is the smaller braid, the better. So the the, the smaller diameter the braid is, the better it casts, the better it gets through the water when you're fishing deep. Um, so it's this this product's called PEX eight. Um, it's available from twelve to thirty three pounds. Some some cool sizes there, like sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So this is really freshwater bass finesse fishing, this whole forward facing sonar craze. Um that you're seeing, like, in the next couple of weeks, if you follow the Bassmasters elites, they're going up to, I believe, the northeast to fish big smallmouth and big pieces of water, and it's all going to be caught on these type of techniques, the winners. Pretty so, cool. Um, a lot, but of, then we're a lot inter- of stuff going on, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then we're introducing some line management or leader management, um, like both line slash leader management um, products for – Keeping your fluorocarbon, whether you're keeping it in your, you know, bass boat or you're keeping it in, uh, going on a trip on one of our, our saltwater boats, uh, you're looking out your back door right now. So, um, Rick's probably seen some of the promotional pieces we've done, uh, the spool holders that hold three to six cigar spools. And I think the promotions were done at the shows. We've even done them at, you know, I believe, Rick at Fisherman's Landing. For, sure. Yeah. Tackle for days and Fred Hall and yeah, BCS. So, you know, yeah. when you buy three spools, yeah. you get one of those killer little, you know, spool holders yeah. that has the little feeder through it. They're bitching. Yeah, so now, so we got um, a few different versions of that launching here at um, cool. for sale. 
and then they're upgraded. They're not just the promotional ones that we did as a, as a promotion um, at events. We this one is actually for retail. Really nice um, premium product. Um, and I, you know, people are always uh, you know trying to figure out ways to organize their fluorocarbon, whether it's jumping on a, a San Diego uh, style boat or their bass boat. You know, so um, so yeah, pretty excited about that. So yeah, it's a really good launch, um, and um, I think everybody's pretty excited to. Um, to see where this JDM product goes, because um, it's 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 a little different, you know. And the bass guys are bass guys eat this stuff up. Um, it's, I think it's really the first time it's really been opened up to saltwater anglers, especially on the West Coast here. Wow, well, this is great man. As you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. Dale is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to fluorocarbon. But Dale, you also you also rep a lot of other products too, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. <clears throat> I do Z-Man Fishing Products, who's, you know, they're, they're known for uh, chatterbaits and Ned Rigs. That's their claim to fame. They put both of those on the map. Uh, we do high boost uh, hooks and bait rigs. We do Nomad uh, Design Tackle out of Australia. And, uh, I just Mad picked Max. up. Yeah, Mad Max. I mean, yeah, that's, a, that's not a secret anymore. <laughs> um, um, and I just picked up a, a brand um, called uh, uh, Bubba, and uh, it actually started in the San Diego area, Bubba Blaze. So um, they're 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 morphing into some other products. Um, they're owned by a, um, a U.S. Uh, traded stock company, and uh, I think their sister company, Smith and Wesson. So um, we were fortunate enough to pick up. Their, we got some really cool um, fishing accessories. So we just we just did that in the last 30 days. So I'm excited to get that brand. That's great. Yeah, Bubba. Here, but Bubba's a lot more than yeah. just a red handled fillet knife. Now I mean, those they make everything: yeah. gaffs and pliers yeah. and well, feets it, and it, shears it, and everything. Yeah, if you watch the uh, the Bassmaster Elites and uh, 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 MFL or the Bass Fishing Tournament, you'll see that red digital scale. That's that's Bubba. So yeah, so that's it's pretty exciting um, to uh, be with a brand that actually started in Southern California. That's yeah, cool. sure. And we have a great show lined up today, and we're giving away a phenomenal prize Dude, thanks to Dale, man, right? Man, you're not Wait, kidding, you dude. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Again, just like you said, Pete, not only is Dale in here sharing so much great info with us, and man, it just, uh, I always come away learning so much about Seaguar and Flora and all the new stuff uh, that's going on. But, man, you, you nailed it. One lucky caller or texter at the end of today's show is going to win a killer Seaguar Floral Carbon Package. You're going to be covered for the season and beyond. Basically, you're going to get six spools of Seaguar Gold Label, a 20, a 25, a 30, a 40, a 50, and a 60-pound set of Seaguar Gold Label. How sick is that? Dude? Yeah, yeah, how about that? I mean, a really, really nice package. Dale, and we can't begin to tell you how uh, appreciative we are. That's a very generous gift from uh, from yourself and Seaguar, and we're really, really pumped that one lucky caller or texter at the end of the show today is going to have a chance at winning that killer prize. And Again, if you want to get through and talk to Dale, give us a call this morning at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090. 1090 is our phone number, or send us a text. The texting only available through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download, easy to find. The easiest way to listen to all the past and archive shows is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. And when you do text in your question, make sure that you include your contact info because we want to make sure to get that big prize to you if you win the you win the prize at the end of the show today, and we'll determine the prize winner based on the prize coin. So basically, we draw one potential winner from the caller side, one potential winner from the texture side. We'll flip a coin at the end of the show, and that person, and then that coin will designate whether it's a caller or a texture. So again, a great show, a great prize, lots of great info coming your way, lots of great fishing to be had right now. You stay tuned. You're going to be listening to a good one. It's Let's Talk Hook Up, Southern California Sport Fishing Voice on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Anyone that's been to the East Cape knows Smokey's Curing Company Cantina, the best food and drink in Los Barillas and a fun place to hang out and watch your favorite sporting event. If you're lucky, you probably had Smokey's process your fish to take home. Their quality and service is top-notch. You'll see me at Smokey's Cantina hanging out with the owner, Chris, and my buddies when fishing in the East Cape. And we always send our fish to be processed at Smokey's, too. Now Chris has added one of the finest boats in the East Cape available for you to charter for a day or more of fishing, Vaquera. It's an immaculate 35 Cabo with a sea keeper and Captain Diego Rodríguez. Romero, one of Baja's best. If you're looking for a great charter boat when fishing at Palmas, Playa, or other resorts, Vaquera, booked at BajaSmokies.com, should be your choice. So, when you're headed to the East Cape, be sure to stop by Smokies Curing Company Cantina. Send your fish to be processed there and fish aboard the 35 Cabo Vaquera. Check BajaSmokies.com for more details. 
The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414 or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Captain Jamie Tennis from Season Sport Fishing here. For the past few seasons, a dart-styled metal jig has come into play in a big way for tuna offshore or even rockfish down deep. AFCO's crossbreed jig has quickly become the go-to for many since it came onto the market. AFCO's crossbreed jig is good to go right out of the package with a 4X treble hook, heavy-duty split rings, West Coast colors, and sizes 60 gram to 120 gram. Pick one up today at your local tackle store or learn more on AFCO.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Pumped to have Dale with us this morning, talking fishing, talking fluoro, talking iCast. Today's just going to be a great one. Yeah, let's jump into the phones. They're packing up. You want to get through, have a chance to win that incredible package of Zegar fluorocarbon, Zegar gold, I should say. That's rad. 213-432-1090. Mike and Torrance, you're going to start us off with Let's Talk Hookup this morning. What's up, Mike? Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Ricky and Dale. Thank you very much for your show, Pete. It's the bomb. Hey, um, I just got off the American Angler, and what a great business that Brian's built there with Lori and, and Ray, and, and gripping around the boat, and I got a 100-pound uh, shirt for a nice fish, and without the crew, I would not have landed it. It was a tough fish. But I just want to say thank you for everything you guys do, and I was able to fish with Hills from, from uh, Ventura because you guys gave him the trip on the on the show, and, and I got to meet him. I've known him for 20 years through the radio show, but... What a gentleman Hills is, and I want to thank you again for everything. You guys have a pleasant day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, thanks. Did you? We just watched the American Angler backing into the slip. You must have just got off the boat. Give us the details, Mike. What'd your fish bite? I said I got a uh, West Coast nice. Jiggers HD Cotton Candy Jig, 300 gram, and uh, uh, fish weighed about 150, and uh, got long, long night Oof. of fishing hard. And it was tough fishing, but... We got him, and, and the whole the whole group cooperated and fished until dawn, and we gave it everything we had. Great trip. That's cool. That's awesome, Mike. How, how many day trip was it, Mike? It was just a two day, so we only had one full night on the grounds, and then, and then we fished yesterday, and we got some okay. uh, some uh, smaller fish, and I got it because I had the fluorocarbon cigar, which was the ticket. Uh, to the light line, I got a small fish yesterday also. So can't say enough about the American Angler family. I'm glad to be able to fish with them. That's cool. Yep, no doubt, buddy. Thanks for that great report. And, yeah, American Angler is top of the line for sure. Appreciate the call this morning. I have a great text here from Bob in Huntington Beach. He says, good morning, Dale. Uh, thought, your thoughts on my setup? I fish marlin, sailfish, tuna, wahoo, and dorado in the East Cape of Baja and Baja tournaments. I fish 100-pound braid with 6 feet of 80-pound Seaguar Gold fluorocarbon leader on all my eight trolling reels with lures and baits. Do you have any tips for me? Well, he's got the right stuff. Um, you know, when I go down to, um, you know, I fished quite a bit out of the East Cape before, um, and you know that whole uh, fishery down there. Um, I'd, I'd be fishing gold label up to eighty because that's as the biggest we make it up to this point. And then um, for some of your your billfish down there, I'd be going to blue label. You know, Blue Label's got some cool sizes like 90 pound and 100, um, 130, 150. So I think once you get beyond the 80 pound um, 
the, the 80 pound um, you know, rating, I would definitely jump up to Blue Label for that fishery down there. Okay, why Blue Label? It's just more abrasion resistant, and as you know, with billfish, um, they're, they're, it's all about abrasion resistant. So, um, like I said, if, if, if Rivers got it, Gold Label still on the on the docket for introducing in some bigger sizes here in the next hopefully year or two. But for now, um, you know, I would be going down with Gold Label to eighty, and then Blue Label starting at ninety pounds. Still, all of this big fish, nighttime jig fishing, heavy wind blue on label. leaders, all that kind of stuff. We we still we still like blue label the most in the shop. It's just it's, the biggest, the baddest, the toughest. You know, e- even sometimes in sixteen eighty pound. You know, if I if I'm trying to fly line a bait and f- you know finesse pick a fish off, we, I I I, sh- I I use gold label. That's what I use. But if we're if we were making a a leader for something out of eighty pound, like a bite leader on a Colt sniper or something like that, I. I'll, I'll still often use blue label over the gold just for that little bit of extra toughness, you know, a little bigger diameter, a little more abrasion resistant. Just when you're not worried about finesse, you're just purely worried about, you know, how strong. I, I still love blue label. Yep, and it's, you know, when it's day in, day out, it's, believe it or not, it's probably our best selling product still, our original uh, product. And it's because of what Rick said. It's, it, it is absolutely a beast when it comes to abrasion. It's so tough. When I'm, when I'm dry right. line and bait, trying to get bit it's all about gold label when i'm when i'm fishing vertical like rick's talking about with jigs i don't care if it's daytime or nighttime i'm going blue label that's it good good info dale appreciate it very much had another fun text come through this from john in rancho san diego man dale already off to a great show appreciate the info what is your favorite knot for connecting braid to fluoro and also when connecting mono to fluoro so longer mono top shot but a little uh, a little bite piece at the end do you feel it's important to not have two big of a gap in between the pound tests of the fluoro and mono like if i'm fishing you know 60 pound but i want to have a, a, a lighter fluoro leader how big of a gap can i appropriately use on my connections thanks for everything john and rancho san diego all right so i'll answer the first one um, would be the braid to fluoro and of course we're all fans of the john collins rp knot so um i use that whether i'm bass fishing or fishing you know cow yellowfin or bluefin tuna like that knot is absolutely legit easy to tie and uh, got all the confidence in that and there for me there's no gap that you have to worry about when you're going braid to fluoro so that you know you could take you know literally 80 pound braid and tie you know 150 pound leader if you wanted to Mm -hmm. um or i find when you're going to the the other question which is fluoro to mono um i would go cigar knot which basically introduced i mean when we first introduced that knot here in the u.s um, primarily, most people were fishing mono. The braid, um, the braid, filling your reels up with braid and then fishing a, a floral um, top shot wasn't as common as filling your reel with mono and putting fluorocarbon on top. So that Seaguar knot introduced the world to being able to have a really strong knot that had confidence in it, like I have in the RP knot. And uh, I would say keep those diameters or pound test close. Meaning, I wouldn't take forty pound mono and turn, you know, tie eighty pound fluoro to it. I think it's too big of a gap. So, I'd feel comfortable enough forty to fifty, maybe sixty, but um, I try to keep it close. So, if you're fishing forty pound, you know, I think you can go up a size and go down a size, but that's about as comfortable as I get with that knot. And it's the Seaguar knot. If you're not familiar with that knot, I know you can find it on the Seaguar website. About as easy a knot as to tie as you can get, right? Yeah. Put the yeah. line side yeah, by it's... side, uh, twist it uh, seven times, and then Three. pull it through, right? Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. Make sure it kind of cinches down like a figure eight is the real critical part of that knot. But we, when we started teaching that knot to people, you know, people were lined up at sports shows. They're like, how do I tie this knot I'm hearing about? Probably we talked about it enough on the, on the station here, um, on the radio show. But... Yeah, now everybody knows it. Cruises know it. Everybody yeah. fishes that. So I guarantee you can show up on any one of our sport fishing boats leaving out of the landings and ask somebody how to tie the Seaguar knot. They'll show we, it to you. It's we pretty, still show it's people. Easy. We still show people the tackle store every day, and that was the story I was going to tell. Is you know all the trade shows back in the day. You, I remember going by the Seaguar booth. You, you guys must have demonstrated that knot ten thousand yeah. times now. You know, it's it's so quick, line to line, little loop, couple of twists, pull it through, done. You're yeah. fishing. Yeah, so that's you know that's you know that's what I would do if I'm fishing mono to fluoro. 
And then, like I said, the RP John Collins knot, man, I've got so much confidence in that knot. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it works if, cool. if you tie it properly. Yeah, right. Sure. Hey, let's jump back on the phones, Rick. You got it. Well, his ears must have been burning, and we were talking about him this morning. Next up, we're going to talk to Hills. Hills from Ventura. Hills, I got a weird feeling you must have been on the American Angler recently. I guess we're all oh, the build-up yeah. like that. How's that yeah, go yeah, away? Yeah. That well, sucks. I've, I've, that sucks. <laughs> I've got a great text here, and uh, uh, it's from Mitch in Solana Beach, and he says, "Dale, is there truth to this? I have been told it is not so much the fluorocarbon type, but mainly the line diameter that is the most important factor in getting bit or not." All right. Well, um, I think that uh, two parts of this question. Um, diameter is always important because it's how your bait moves through the water. And I think that's why all of us are huge fans of gold label. Right. Gold label for the you know, diameter for break strength. That is our best product you know, up until this JDM Grand Max is hitting the market. So here you have this you know, bait moving through the water, and the smaller diameter line behind it is going to, the bait's going to swim more natural. And I've always believed the reason, you know, prior to. Fluorocarbon being as popular as it is, um, you know, when it was just the mono days, it was about line diameter. I, and the fact that um, fluorocarbon's got the closest react, re, refraction rate to water, it, that invisibility part, I like it for other reasons. I like it for its, um, for its uh, abrasion resistance, number one. It's way more abrasion resistant than mono. But as far as comparing fluoros to fluoros, um, that's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. They all have the same refraction rate. So that's, you know, whether it's brand XY or Seagar, 100% fluorocarbon product has the same refraction rate. And, and you just said something really important, 100% fluorocarbon product, Fluorocar- not yeah. a fluorocarbon-coated yeah. product. Yeah. And so make sure, uh, buyer beware. Yeah, buyer beware. All of the Seagar fluorocarbon products that we market are 100% fluorocarbon with fluorocarbon or cigar fluorocarbon resins that are proprietary we make our own resins none of the other manufacturers can claim that cigar so invented other, fluorocarbon 50 plus years ago so yeah. um we we might know a thing or two about it so we're, we we make everything along the process we manufacture our own resins to build the best fishing line we manufacture our own product we're the only manufacturer that does that double structure formulation that we talked about. We control the whole process. We don't rely on any outside sources for manufacturing our fluorocarbon. The other one thing so, I throw about it was the the question was you know that it it does you know does it not it only matters about diameter to get bit and where like just like Dale said there might be some truth to the diameter and difference of getting bit like getting bit is still only part of the equation like sure a skinny a, a very skinny diameter fluorocarbon from brand X, Y, or Z might get bit just as good, might get bit better, whatever, but if it's very wiry, and it doesn't tie knots very well, and it doesn't lay on the reel nice, and it doesn't cast well, and it's real stiff so it doesn't go through the guides, and yes, it's really skinny, but it doesn't have the abrasion resistance, I mean, you, you're right on just pen and paper for just getting a bite once the bait is in the water, things might be the same, but getting up to that point, and then getting beyond that point can be hugely different things based on what your fluorocarbon is or isn't based on formula, the resins they use, having that double structure that Dale always talks about, being able to cast nice, you know, it's a lot more than just diameter. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, and to, to really uh, back up what Rick's saying is is that we take a lot of these things that we all take for granted, um, Cigar takes it serious. So when we bring a new product to market or any product to market, um, not strength number one. So that double structure formulation and our other products um, that aren't, that are single structure, we still, like, we look at if it doesn't have good knot strength, it doesn't mean anything to us. Right. Because, like, you can get bit, like Rick's saying, but if your knot strength is weak, you're going you're gonna to lose that fish. When you say so knot strength, strength is, explain that. What, what, would, well, what would fail? That means w- once you tie your fishing knot, so let's just say uh, I tie the San Diego jam knot to my, let's say, that I'm, let's say I'm just fishing straight floral. The only knot that I have is the, you know, the San Diego jam knot to my hook. When I'm pulling on that, it's the percentage of what the line breaks at and what the knot breaks at. So if the line, that's called tensile strength, what the line actually breaks at. So if you put it on a straight pull machine, let's say it broke at 30 pounds. Let's say we're fishing 30-pound line and it breaks at 30, just for the conversation. If the knot strength is 50% of the tensile strength, you're not fishing 30 pounds, you're fishing 15 pounds. Right. That's where the line breaks at. So for us to bring a product to market, the, we work super hard to give you both high tensile strength lines, 
high notch terrain flying. And then the other properties that Rick also talked about is not being wiry, you know, being soft so your bait swims through the water, or being like blue label, let's just be tough, let's be the, the, the Sherman tank, you know, let's like, you know, um, the, the stuff that you can't wear through. So we, we develop all these properties into this pro- these products, especially our double structure products, so that whatever characteristics you're looking, it's the best of the category, best of the best. So you can, you can claim I, that your line is the strongest in a laboratory when one end is pl- pulled on a machine and the other's on a, on a scale and you just pull it until it breaks, but that's not how fishing works. It's not knot strength. No. Yeah, you got to tie knots, yeah, you got to yeah. bump off of rocks, you got to have an abrasion resistance, it went through the guides funky, you, you know, there's all, yeah. there's all those X factors that are involved that are outside the laboratory. All right, let's yeah, try and, and jump I'll... back into the uh, phones there. Well, we got Hills standing back by. Hills, you still got us here this morning? Yeah, sorry, you guys. I had my cheek muted. A cheek muted. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. All so good, thanks, buddy. Good morning. You guys, I'm so stoked. The American Angler is, I've been on quite a few of the boats in San Diego, and there's, I, to me, there's nothing better than that boat because the crew is so nice, and the people tend to be nice because it's just a boat full of, good people and and the owners and like brian was down there today i got to meet him in person and uh <clears throat> mike from torrance was a joy to fish with and uh you, you should have seen all the floral car the cigar floral carbon uh, when it, it's like a tackle seminar going on that boat because people really are serious about their their stuff and so much cigar was around everywhere including my box and it was just just awesome and uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, helping me get on that trip. That was we already booked for next year, by the way. Oh, I'm so glad! And once you oh, you're already booked for next year. Yeah, that's it's good right. for you. And you know, like you say, that boat is like a, a family. You know, yeah. once you get on that boat, you you just like people love the American Angler, and for good reason. I love. For it. Good reason. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Hills, I'm glad you had such a great trip. Uh, and did you catch a big one? I did not. That that's one of the reasons I got to go back, man. I didn't get a big one, but you know, Mike. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good right. Mike go, gave me you'll one. Get, you'll get him next yeah, time. No, All no, right. no, Thanks no. a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come hey, back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls. We got catch reports, a whole lot more with Dale. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Captain Benny Florentino, owner operator of Coastal Charters. Just want to announce that I'll be running the Camus 26 hybrid boat from West Coast Marine in Costa Mesa. Hybrid being a center console with bay boat features. The boat features a Michael Peters stepped hull that'll give both myself and my guests a comfortable dry ride. West Coast Marine in Costa Mesa will be carrying the 26 hybrid, 28 hybrid, and also a 34 cat. Heck, they even have some great looking bass boats but if you have any other questions feel free to call nick kelly or kyle mesa at west coast marine and costa mesa and we'll see you on the water take it from captain benny florentino west coast marine and costa mesa is your source for camus boats as well as parker boats yamaha outboards and now mercury outboards sales and service the finest you can find go see nick of the guys at west coast marine on newport boulevard in costa mesa or check westcoastmarine.com Seasoned long-range fishermen know that the Red Rooster 3 is the finest fishing vessels in terms of technology, design, speed, comfort, and safety. This 105-foot sport fishing yacht meets every demand for comfort while delivering an unforgettable fishing vacation. Captain Andy, Kate, and crew are experienced, friendly, and sincere in their desire to help you have the trip of a lifetime. Book a trip on the Red Rooster 3, and you'll be back. Trips go fast. So check RedRooster3.com or call Lee Palm Sport Fisheries at 619-224-3857. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. 
Here's the hot tip on the best fishing L.A. has to offer, 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. They are home to L.A.'s finest open party fleet, including overnight on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half-day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three-quarter day trips on the Sea Angler. For your own private charter, we have the Outrider and True Line available. There's always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or on the web at 22ndstreet.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning, talking fishing and cigar. Boy, what a great, uh, what a great day today's been so far. Yeah, it's awesome. really fantastic. Such killer info. So great to have uh, Dale for sure. And uh, time for the catch report for sure. You got it. Well, today our catch report sponsored by our good friends at Gamakatsu. Man, if you like to fish uh, tuna, you are and you're not using Gamakatsu hooks. There are bites left on the table. The Gamakatsu Nautilus hook comes in size as small as number four and up to a six zero. And for big fish, that Nautilus H. HD is tough enough to get your bites without having that oversized wire weighing your bait down. Both come in ringed or non-ringed versions. See your local tackle dealer or check gamakatsu.com. We're going to start off up at Data Wars Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Willie's on the line. What up, Willie? Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going this morning? Doing great. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good. Good, good. Man, all the science behind fluorocarbon. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's crazy, crazy. Right? It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Food to know Dale's yeah, like the professor stuff. of fluorocarbon. Yeah, totally. Totally. I mean, you say fluorocarbon, it has like such a, a generic term, but it's so vast and broad of what you can have and what you can tie. Yeah, it's crazy. Good, 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 good stuff, man. Like listening to that. So it's good. So, Speaking hey, of good, good stuff, let's talk about some good fishing. Yeah, so good week up here. You know, our water, really nice, close to home and down the beach where we've been fishing, anywhere from like 69 to 72, depending on what the sunshine is doing that day. Nice. Clean. Current water moving around, which is nice. Has kelp kind of laid down in the zones where we've been fishing. So, with that, the bass fishing was great for us this last week. You know, it's been good for the rental rod guys, and it's been good for the more experienced anglers. Uh, our bass regulars are into it. Fly line sardines fish really well for those guys, and then uh, you know, guys using the artificial stuff, the lures, the hard baits, surface iron, all that stuff uh, caught fish for us which has been great. We have this catch and release derby that's been going on here, too. I, I've kind of neglected to talk about it last week or two, but uh, the $5 buy-in when you come out on any half or three-quarter day trip, and it's uh, targeting uh, calico bass and sand bass. And right now our top fish for for this month, you know, July's seven-pounder caught and released on a uh, twilight trip, which is which is kind of cool. It's good for the resource. It's good for the fishermen, and uh, we've got some super cool uh, sponsors that are helping us out with that. So That's cool. So you're weighing that. them on the boat and then letting them go. Exactly. Yep. Sweet. So it still counts for the boat jackpot, that kind of stuff as well, plus you get entered in uh, – the derby so you can check all the prizes and all our sponsors on our uh, website it's all listed on there but it's, uh, it's cool stuff and again it's five bucks to get in so you can book it online when you buy your ticket or you can buy it over the counter in the morning either way That's on awesome. a half or three quarter day but uh, yeah half day fishing is kind of in the same deal really good bass fishing um both close up there off salt creek has been pretty good little zone for us and then down below uh, some stretches uh through San through some of that artificial stuff down there off the beach you know there's still some some tuna sign out in front of our harbor as is the case when this fish kind of pushes in, it's all over the place. You know, it's more of a, a skip fisherman's game for sure. There's you no know, spots up on, there's a lot of anchovy off the beach there, and it's all up in the bay chasing that stuff around. So some guys have caught some, um, you know, with the jigs and that kind of stuff up on little quick feeder spots and foamers. But for us to dedicate a whole day to it, it's just not quite there yet. But the water's nice. Things are setting up good. So we're telling our guys, you know, bring a rod. You know, some 25 to 50 pound would kind of get you kind of covered in that range. Um, the guys have been kind of looking a little bit either in the mornings if the conditions are right or making a loop on the uh, afternoon coming home kind of a deal. That seems like that stuff's been showing a little bit better in the afternoons. So just come with the rods. You never know what you're going to come across on the way on the way home or, or in the morning there. And then over at Clemente, the Furies had some really good yellowtail fishing. That fishing over there has been amazing. They've had some really good days 
on that and uh, some sea bass kind of in the mix there as well the dropper loop baits have been the key there either a squid or a sardine and uh, some guys catching those yellows on the yo-yo iron as well so good good deal there and uh, the bass fish in the Kalmany you know it's full spawn mode so the things are snapping over there as well so pretty good across the board for us this week we'll see what uh, we have to work with as we uh, push through another week here but uh, make those reservations if you want to jump on a boat We've got half days, three quarter days, twilights, you know, across the board. So give us a jingle here, 949-496-5794. Of course, you can hit us on the web, too, at DanaWorf.com, and uh, make those reservations online, too. Awesome. Man, good fishing, good week, and I think we got more of that great weather, and hopefully that provides good conditions again, Willie. Just a awesome report. We said it yesterday, too, man. Dana Wharf firing on all cylinders right now. The the close trips, the longer yeah. trips, it's happening, man. Great, great report, buddy. It's good. Right on. Thanks for the time again, guys. Have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you next Sunday. Thanks, All Willie. Right. Pre- Thanks. Appreciate that very much. Well, while we're waiting for our surf guru, Gun- Gundy Gunnarsson, to join us, had another great text come through from Dave in Anaheim. It says, Dale, I'm rigging some trolling lures, some surface, uh, some staying on the surface, some deeper divers. As what, at what point does fluorocarbon disappear in the water column? Also, in your opinion, am I wasting my money by trolling with fluorocarbon that's in the prop wash? Should I just do it for my casting lures? Um, and do I need mono stretch? Um, in, in my trolling applications. That's all from Dave in Anaheim. Nice. All right. Well, I, I always tell everybody, there's no, there's no disadvantage of fishing fluorocarbon except cost. So I will put that in there. It's definitely, especially when you're trolling and you're getting into some bigger diameters, um, the cost of fluoro, fluorocarbon goes up with the size. So obviously 100 pounds is going to be more expensive than 50 pounds, and that's just because of the amount of material that's in it. So um, I do troll with fluorocarbon. Um, it's more abrasion resistance, the reason I'm trolling it, and it's also unaffected by chemicals. So one of the one of the things that we all know, if you're trout, or trolling behind boats that are running diesel engines, you know what your mono or even fluoro or braid looks like um, from that, um, I guess, disgusting byproduct of a diesel engine. Um, fluorocarbon's impervious to chemicals. That's why it was invented in the first place. Really? So, um, so the it's people, not going to gather it up. It doesn't, yeah. It's, it's Where's actually, mono uh, will? Mono, mono is like a sponge. If you take mono and do a cross section of it, it, it's got little air pockets. It's a sponge. It absorbs water. It absorbs everything. So, um, you know, those of us that um, have been around, uh, like, let's say, mosquitoes, and you get bug spray on mono, it melts mono. It will melt it. But fluorocarbon is impervious to chemicals, huh. um, also impervious to UV light, so the longevity. So if you're not re-rigging your leaders often, you know, and it kind of starts to take that, you know, a little bit of a tent to it from the byproduct of the diesel engines or trolling behind. Um, I still have the confidence that it's as strong. It just doesn't look as good. Um, I don't know if a refraction rate means as much on trolling unless you're really slow trolling live bait. Right. Um, if I'm slow trolling live bait, I would definitely be doing fluorocarbon. But if you're doing, you know, lures and jigs and, you know, some of the Nomad stuff, I would definitely, uh, you know, tell you that the refraction rate isn't the reason I'm trolling it. It would be because of abrasion resistance, especially with billfish. You know, billfish is, if you're fishing big blue marlin out of, you know, out of Mexico, I would definitely want the 100% advantage of the Seaguar Blue Label. And we make that to 400 pound. It's so funny. We make it. I was just say, it's funny as the years go by, you know, fluorocarbon was brought to market as the, you know, closest refraction to water and it's mostly visible. But, you know, over the years, you know, listening to you, Dale, it's like, sh- sure, that is a factor and it's a great factor, but that, that always seems to be like weighed down on your list as to why you're using it. You know, like the, yeah. just yeah. meaning that the other factors all mean more to you than the less visible part. Yeah, no, like a hundred percent. It's funny that um, that's what it claimed to fame was. That's what put it on the map. That's what got us anglers interested. You know, you're talking about invisible fishing line, right? But the benefits of fluoro with the with the dense, how dense it is, it, it doesn't have low stretch. I like low stretch. You know, I fish, you know, braid to fluoro. I like pulling on fish. I think in a lot of cases, people, if you're confident in your in your knots and you're confident in the product, like Seaguar. You know, I, I pull as hard as I possible. I try to break it. I try to, you know, the, 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 uh, it's amazing how it's amazing how strong 
floor the cigar is and 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 you just like you don't know how strong 30 pound 40 pound then you think about 80 and 100 pound that stuff is strong i i can tell yeah. you the day that i was like okay this is it this is the best line they've ever made and that was when gold label uh was pretty new and we got to do a december eight day trip on the royal polaris or uh when uh when guadalupe was still a factor and it was a trip that they had put on the line at the last second and it was it was like half full it was in the very you know it was kind of the uh, when when a lot of people didn't pick a, an eight day in December because you didn't have you know the the same options and long story short Frank allowed several of us from the tackle store to get to go we had a great season it was kind of like a half bonus like hey man there's several extra spots why don't you guys jump on the on the RP and you know everybody get a lesson everybody tune up that kind of thing and we as when forty pound gold was a thing and there was big fish at the loop and we did exactly what Dale said like we tried to break it. We hooked a fish on 40 pound gold and like three guys passed that rod back and forth for like two minutes at a time pulling as hard. I mean exactly as if you would have fished 130 pound. I mean couldn't possibly pull harder. Drag all the way down and we got a 130 pound yellow fin that was also, uh, it wasn't, it was fish in a circle hook but the hook caught him in the roof of the mouth so like that line was over the teeth, Ooh. not not in the corner. Ooh. Guys passed Passing the rod back and forth, pulling as hard as possible on 40 pounds. And you got him. No problem. And yeah. it, ever since that day, I was like, that's it. Yeah. There's nothing better than this. You like can pull it, hard on you, that it, stuff. It can't be better. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm such a believer in it. I yeah, love it. For sure. Well, let's go ahead and continue our catch report. Surf guru Gundy Gunderson is on the line. Good morning, Gundy. What's up, Gundy? What's up, boys? How's it going? Doing great, buddy. Good. Good, morning. Good information, man. Interesting. Yeah, you and Dale oh, are hey. neighbors. That's right, that's right. I hear he's got a place out here. Hey, man, we're transitioning to summertime. Very good, you know, very good week of fishing. No spectacular catches, big fish or anything, but uh, very solid for a variety of species, and we're transitioning into that warmer water, so we really saw good Corbina fishing this week, you know, mostly from Bolsatica South where you got 60 four degree water and better uh, more yellowfin croaker sand bass calico bass small barracuda and then lots of sharks leopards shovel nose bat rays all in the in the report this week and uh, that's summertime fish and hook line sink reported good halibut bite along galita and gaviota no big fish but lots of 26 to 30 inch models drop shot flutes have been hot for those guys cut anchovy also working for the long rodders uh, a good yellowfin croaker bite off the sand spit, some nice sand bass mixed in. Uh, big fish reported Corbina action off Bolsa Chica, very good. Lots of sand grab, lots of fish. Most are smaller models. You know, early in the season you see a lot of that one and a half to two and a half pound fish, and that's what they're seeing. There are some better, better kickers in there, but no takes yet, and that's typical of early season fish. Uh, lots of leopards in the warmer water. Uh, Hogan's reported good mixed bag fishing in and around Dana Point Harbor. A shop regular fish Friday had six yellowfin croaker, four, four short sea bass, four barred perch, and a corbina, all on bloodworms on a morning tide swing. So that's the kind of mixed bag those guys are getting. And then finally, really good uh, corbina action, especially off the San Diego coast. That Army, Navy, the Cardiff was a really good area. Uh, I think the big fish this week went four pounds. So we're starting to see some of, some of that better quality in there. Uh, sand crabs, they're not really thick, but the guys uh, making them, are, are uh, that's probably the best bait. Bloodworms, probably a good backup. Croakers, barred perch in the mix. And then the beach bite for halibut was also quite good. Not big fish, but uh, 22 to 28-inch fish. Leopard sharks off Terramar. So it's that warm water species and a bunch of different species biting. That's the so best good. part of the surf, uh, man. When when you when you're bait on, you know, you know, when it might be a little surf perch or it might be a corvina or a croaker, or whatever. Like the variety of the summertime, sure sure makes it fun. You should have called Corey Sandin for a surf fishing report because Corey Dude. has been out whacking the halibut on his uh, what is that a five inch slug? I think, it's a, I think that's a seven, seven but I'm not, I'm not positive. Yeah, yeah. On I saw the, the photo. MC seven inch slug and the surf gets whacking the halibut. I mean, like, was he fishing that drop shot? No, he's fishing just a like a um, like a, like a weighted swim bait a weighted hook. swim bait hook uh, with a seven inch uh, MC swim bait. 
slug. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. What? Right on. I'm going to have probably, to I'm probably letting the secret out for Corey. You showed, <laughs> me, a you showed me a photo of like multiple, multiple, multiple eagles. eagles in a day. Yes. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah. In a, in a morning. That's wild. Yeah. Dude. That's so cool. Corey's on it. Yeah. yeah the man, sure. no doubt. Yeah. Well, hey, I sure appreciate that, Gundy, surf guru extraordinaire. And that guy loves to surf, I tell you. Yeah. He does. <laughs> we'll talk to you next Sunday. Good show, guys. Have a good right. week. Thank Later, you. Gundy. And speaking of, of Corey, he'll be hosting with you next Sunday yeah. with the boys from Captain's Concepts. So uh, I'll be on the Royal Star, but uh, Corey Sandin will be here. You'll have to ask him about that surf fishing technique oh. in, with uh, the slug. And the, oh, that'll be coming up for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah you know it. <laughs> hey, we, we want to remind you that uh, the summertime is here, man. And for all of your surf fishing needs, you got to check out surffishtackle.com for the newest in surf fishing gear and fishthesurf.com will help make you a better angler from the beach. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup. More Dale, more Seagar, more fishing. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Gas prices are going up, up, up. So now more than ever, you need Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. Pull up to the newly expanded Summit Gasoline and get low, low gas and diesel prices for your car, truck, and boat. They can now accommodate 24 cars and trucks to fuel at the same time, plus 12 diesel boats, plus 100 pounds of free ice with a minimum 35-gallon fill-up. Easy in and out, too. Step into the Summit Bistro and enjoy what Martha and her crew have for you on things you can use. Fresh-made burritos sandwiches, salads, along with beer, beverages, and, of course, always free ice. So many Let's Talk Hookup listeners have taken advantage of Summit Gasoline's low prices, great service, and free ice. They have become the largest seller of fresh gourmet ice in Southern California. Summit also sells frozen bait and fishing licenses 24 hours a day. Summit Gasoline, low prices, friendly staff, free ice, and easy in and out with your boat and trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Back in 1979, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They lived in a VW van in the parking lot and sold catamaran sailboats. And over the years, the shop has evolved. They've sold everything from windsurfers to barbecues, paddle boards, and trailers. Here's the point. For over 40 years, my parents, and eventually me, my brother Jared, and sister Ava, have been in the business of fun and making memories on the water with friends and family. If something's in the shop, it's a product we use, are passionate, and knowledgeable about, and want to share with you. We encourage you to come down to our shop, Fast Lane Kayaking on Mission Bay, and check out our huge selection of Hobie Mirage kayaks, accessories, and more. And let's get you on the water, fishing with friends, enjoying the coast with your family, or exploring mountain lakes in solitude. In other words, having fun and making memories. Offshore fishing is on. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. The saltwater tackle professionals. For bluefin, tuna, and yellowtail, nothing beats the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. Shimano Speedmaster 2 is also an extremely durable, high-performance lever drag reel for the more budget-minded angler. Both the Talica and Speedmaster 2 feature Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest of load. For all your Shimano, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. 